What's up guys, it's Casey McEwen back again with another video this week and I'm standing outside of Huff Hines Jeep in Plano, Texas. As you can see, this is my uh, one and only Jeep that I've had for a couple of years and have had a ton of memories with. I am trading this sucker in for an absolutely decked out tier three Grand Wagoneer. Now we do have a sales rep, Billy, up here in Huff Hines. He's gonna walk us through the entire exterior of this new car that I've turned basically uh, $110,000, $111,000 car. Uh, he's also going to walk us through the interior, but with uh, no avail, let's uh, let's get started here. This is the 22 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Still tells a Jeep with seven slots in the front grille, like all Jeeps do, which Jeep started back, back in 1947, became the first Jeep to be first vehicle to be sold on all seven continents. It's got the HID lighting. It's got 6.4 liter engine inside here, which a lot of get up and go. Has about 485 horsepower. Very nice, but it's still good on gasoline. When you open up the doors, if you have a kid or something like that, they open up, especially like in the back, open up to almost full 90 degrees. So you don't have to squeeze in there. You can open it up, put the child in there, or load anything in there you have to load in there. Keep your foot in there, it opens up. <laughs> That's convenient. Now when this opens up, like you're in, parked inside your garage, you can hold this, you can put this wherever you need to put it and hold this button for 20 seconds. When it starts beeping, it's set. It will not go that high anymore to help keep your bump in and stuff. Okay. You got the power folding third row seats. You see, like, put this one down on the left. Put it down. And if you need the extra room up front, you just hit this button. Now the seat goes down. <laughs> and you bring them right back up. Power is on the doors to adjust the seats. Okay. You adjust them how you want it. This top button is to get the, the back part of your seat comfortable for you. Okay. This button is for the, the move the seats back and forward. Okay. But right above that, you've got the massager. <laughs> you turn that on, your seat massage. You can look down here, you can program them how you want them on. Just hit the on button. You can have the waterfall, lower back, wherever you want it. It's very nice on those controls over here passenger center control everything yeah the driver even, cannot even, see it yeah i can't even see anything on there so with the passenger they can program their headphones to it so over here watch a movie you can watch a movie on there yes <laughs> you plug it in you have to open up right here you have the usb ports inside here put a little thumb drive in there get it set up like that oh it's an entire hdmi port that mm -hmm. will plug into there and right here you put, put your phone in there you just lay your phone in there. It's a cordless charger. This has a Uconnect 5 on it. So with the Uconnect 5, you don't have to plug it in to connect to it. You want to put it in the sport. The ride gets a little bit rougher. You burn a little more gas. Yeah. But you get up and go. Okay. Those are real nice. The digital rear view mirror. Okay. You can see everything. If you don't like that, you can get used to it. Down like that. But on that right there, you hit this button. You can adjust it whether you want to go uh, farther or right now it's brighter or darker, you okay. can adjust it. Do it again, that's where you want to go. You can level however you want it, looking okay. out the back. Here's your dual panoramic sunroof. Press that. And you'll think you're in your old Wrangler, just act like you're in a car <laughs> right here. Yeah. Of course, that's just open like that. The third row seat has one, it's a manual, no power. Okay. But the glass does not open, it just, the glass stays there. Okay. This one, you can do the vent right here. Let me see. Yep. You tilt up the vent right here. Okay. Like when you're driving with windows down, it's good to have that. Not as much airflow mm -hmm. bothering you. Over. Just press it where it opens up. The whole sunroof. Yes. Has a wind blocker right here to help keep stuff on there. It's been a while since I've had a yeah. pair to put up here. <laughs> this one has a heads up display. If you're looking through the window. Yeah. You may not see it right now. I see it zero miles an hour. Okay, you can to adjust that. You have to go to your settings with your vehicle information center in the middle. Mm -hmm. You can adjust that, go to your settings, and then you can adjust that uh, different 
height. Okay. You want to, oh, cool. for you on this right here. What's up, guys? We have just finished it at the dealership, drove the car a little bit around, and I can tell you, I love it. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I have an X5M. The BMW X5M is solely business. This is going to be something that I drive up to the cabin, something that I use for really the next decade, if not more. I've got a bumper to bumper warranty, 100K on it. So, not going to be driving this a ton, but it's going to be my vehicle that I utilize outside of work. Now, also, if you've been watching my channel, I do work a ton, but I can tell you the way my business is headed and fortunately enough, as far as my rental income and kind of what I've built within my brokerage, I could see the next couple years definitely taking a step back and still being able to make the same type of income I've been making over the last three to four years. Now, inside the car, I can tell you, I don't know if there's a single aspect of an interior of a car that this is missing. I can tell you, with my BMW, I absolutely loved massaging chairs. <laughs> they may be stupid, but they are an incredible feat when you're taking a drive. For instance, if I wanna take my dogs up to Colorado, which is about a 12 hour drive, being able to use the massage chairs, and I'll compare it to my Jeep Wrangler, drove up two Christmases ago to Colorado with my Jeep Wrangler and it was a constant adjustment just sitting down with my lower back issues that I have from the military. It was constantly shifting around and moving. With the massage chairs, it constantly just makes you feel like you're adjusting, but in a more positive and comforting way. Now, also the additional just room altogether. So you've got the really, really nice wood accents. This is a tier three fully loaded. The only thing that's missing is really the rear uh, TVs on the back side of here that I don't really have a use for, but uh, just everything about this interior of this car is incredible. Now, if you are looking for a vehicle to use solely for your business use, also to have a massive amount of space in the back to haul stuff, I can tell you I've got a whiteboard that I'm taking out of my office that would not absolutely fit in any kind of vehicle I have now. I'm going to lay back both of these seats and be able to put my entire whiteboard back there as well as my KMAC Realty Group sign that I'm going to be putting up in my office at my house. But when we're talking about business and business only, Again, this is more of my personal, my BMW is solely my business. But with the Section 179 tax deduction, just like I did with my BMW, you can write the entire value of this vehicle off in the first year. Now, there is a requirement of at least 50% business use. My suggestion would be if you're buying a car for business use, you use it solely for business because, again, if you're using it for 55% business and 45% pleasure, you're only gonna be able to write off 55% of this vehicle. Again, not something I'm necessarily gonna be using for this vehicle because I already just did it with my BMW last year. This is gonna be solely personal, but this is a terrific vehicle and it is obviously heavy enough to utilize that tax deduction. So as far as the vehicle goes, I'm only 87 miles into owning this car. You're gonna likely see a lot more of this vehicle because it's something that I'm gonna be taking up to the cabin up in Broken Bow quite often. We've got a lot more content to film up there, so stay tuned. Thanks again for all the support, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help, and stay tuned for the next video.